Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick preview to the wild card game playoff game tonight between the St. Louis Cardinals and Los Angeles Dodgers. We got two pitchers that have been doing it for a long time, both that should be first ballot Hall of Famers in Max Scherzer and Adam Wainwright going up against each other tonight. Um, Scherzer finished with 147 strikeouts, Waino with 174, a 276 ERA, and a 305 for Adam Wainwright. Um, Scherzer, the story, the, the numbers don't really tell the full story, though, because he was good with the Nats before he got traded, excuse me, but he's been great and the best pitcher in baseball, probably supplanting himself to win another Cy Young this year yet again, which would guarantee he's the first ballot. And he's going up against another guy, two future Hall of Famers in Adam Wainwright here in this game as well. So this is going to be a very fun and interesting um game to watch um when it comes to tonight's game. You got two of the game's best pitchers, Adam Wainwright and Max Scherzer, both just prove that age is only just a number. Um Scherzer coming in at thirty seven, Wainwright at the even age of forty. And they're both still pitching great and getting hitters out. So it's going to be a very fun game to watch. And both of these teams, of course, have very good bullpens as well. And that's going to be great to watch as well. But I don't know if they're going to have to worry about that all too much with these two guys on the mound. But if they do, both of these teams have a very deep team roster-wise, bullpen-wise, plus starting rotation-wise. And then both of them have a lineup. Obviously, the Dodgers have the deeper lineup where... In the um, video I just made for the Cardinals, if you want to check that out as a Cardinals fan on how they got to the playoff, they got there from building from the corners, having Goldie, one of the best first basemen, having Arenado, one of the best third basemen, and then the big three in the outfield of the young O'Neal, um, Carlson, and um, Harrison Bader um, as the other one out there that make up that big three in the outfield there. So let's see who Mad Max, Max Scherzer is going to be facing, as well as Wayno, Adam Wainwright. I understand maybe for some people he's not as guaranteed, but for me, I would put him in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you have in this game, Tommy Edmond is leading off for the Cardinals, playing second. Goldie, aforementioned Goldschmidt, batting second, playing first base, of course. Tyler O'Neill in the third spot, uh, playing left field. Mm -hmm. Nolan Arenado is, of course, in the fourth spot, playing third base. Dylan Carlson, the right fielder, is batting fifth. Yadier Molina had a good season for himself also as a guy that shows age is just the number. Um, six batting six for him. Um, Edmundo Sosa will be playing shortstop for them tonight, batting seventh. He's been good since coming up. 271, six home runs, almost a six ribbies. He actually has 27 ribbies, which is really good. And four stolen bases to go along with that. And then Harrison Bader, the center fielder, is going to be batting eighth with 50 ribbies and nine stolen bases himself. And then Adam Wainwright, who can swing the bat a bit, Four RBIs this year at 123 is going to be hitting ninth. Both of these pitchers, Scherzer doesn't have an average this year, only has one RBI, but from the past, uh, can swing the bat a little bit. Um, Mookie Betts is batting first for the Dodgers, leading off in right field. Second is the shortstop, Corey Seager. Could be his final game potentially in L.A. if they do lose this game. Trey Turner batting third at second base. Justin Turner batting fourth at third base. Will Smith batting fifth at catcher. Pollock uh, one of my favorite players to watch, batting, um, yeah, that's sixth at left field. Uh, Matt Beatty getting the start at first base tonight, batting seventh. The Dodgers always have those great guys to mix into their roster, too. Um, if people do get injured, like Muncie, for example, Matt Beatty, there you go, perfect example of that. Cody Bellinger um, is going to be batting eighth in an off season, but how they say it, um, the playoffs is a different animal. Look what Bogarts did yesterday for the Red Sox after struggling a little bit to end the season. Uh, Cody Bellinger struggled most of the season. The playoffs, once you get in it, it's really a new season. You kind of just change your mind. You just kind of reset and get going, and you're motivated for the postseason. So anything can happen there. The numbers reset. Your regular season numbers are behind you. Now you got a zero batting average again, and everybody's really starting over. So Cody Bellinger is obviously uber talented, so you're going to be able to see what he's able to do. I think, obviously, in order for the Cardinals to win this game, the key would be you got to limit the Dodgers' offense under more of the 4-5 run, probably Mac threshold, and then probably more 4 run threshold because you're facing Max Scherzer. So I would say 4 run threshold, and then you would be able to be able to get the offense going enough on your end via Goldschmidt and the big three and Arenado 
there to be able to match at least four runs, especially when you get into the bullpen, because they do have a good bullpen, but these teams also have very good lineups and good numbers on both sides, especially the Cardinals when they routed out the season playing like the 07 Rockies, their numbers started matching more the way that the Dodgers were just really good pitching-wise and really good hitting-wise. So that's why this game's going to be so interesting. The Cardinals don't look as pretty as the Dodgers coming in, obviously overall record-wise and et cetera, et cetera. But if you paid attention in the last few weeks of the season, they are one of the most dangerous teams coming in. So I feel like this game is bound to be closer than last night's ball game between the Sox and Yankees. I thought that game would be closer going into the game. It didn't end up being that close by the end of the game. I feel like this game between the Cardinals and Dodgers is going to have a feel of a playoff rivalry that actually kind of comes down to the final um, pitch or the final inning. I think this game, for whatever reason, is going to be pretty close because, like I said, both of these teams have very ample lineups, but they also have two future Hall of Famers starting on the bump, and both teams have two very good bullpen. So I think this game is bound to be close and come down to the final wire. And if I had to lean a team when it comes down to the final wire, usually I would go with the home team, so I would have to slightly lean the Dodgers, but that's probably by like a fraction of a percent if I think it's coming down to the final wire. So I hope you all enjoyed this game preview. I know have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please like and subscribe down below or up top on the widget if you enjoy the content. And enjoy the playoffs, of course. Peace out, everybody.